the Redmi Note 8 Pro for just under 15,000 gives you a flagship level processor along with a great design, camera and a screen that's HDR enabled. Currently, it's running on the MIUI 10 while the MIUI 11 update is due by the end of this year which will bring in a lot of new features. I know the wait time is like forever but in the meanwhile, here are some amazing apps for all the Note 8 Pro users out there to get the most out of their new phone. So friends, my name is Ashish, you're watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. Now, the very first app that we would like to recommend is the Shade Launcher and there are two reasons to recommend this. Firstly, it's lightweight and makes app launch a snappy task and secondly, it's just like the Pixel Launcher but comes with added customization option. The look and feel is just like the Pixel Launcher but here you can customize the icons using an icon pack and even apply different themes to this launcher. There are shortcuts, feeds, overlays, categories and so much more. So if you're looking for a drawer based app launcher which has the glance feature and not the ads and app recommendations, this is definitely an app to try. The next one in the list is O Browser, which is arguably better to use than Chrome, especially on large screen devices that are difficult to use with just one hand. The app is designed in a way that all of its UI elements are close to the bottom edge of the screen, unlike Chrome, which still has them on the top. This means that you'll be able to reach the address bar and all the buttons quite easily. It's definitely a pleasure to use and I'd recommend getting this browser on any large screen device that you own, especially on phones like Redmi Note 8 Pro, which is all glass and way too slippery or risky for single handed usage. Now moving on, next one in the list is Xplayer and this is a must have app for all the Redmi Note 8 Pro users out there and that's because of the HDR screen of the device. Xplayer supports 4K 10-bit HDR videos without installing any additional codec, has equalizer support and even has hardware acceleration by default. There's subtitle support too and you can search and download the missing ones directly from the app even while you're watching the movie. The app interface is very clean, but unlike VLC, this one has ads. But if you're looking for a one-stop destination for all the video playback on the Node 8 Pro, this is it. Now next up, there's Adobe Lightroom, which is an amazing photo editing app with an integrated manual camera. Yes, a full-fledged manual camera. You see, the app comes with a pretty capable camera built-in that can be accessed by tapping on the icon in the bottom right corner. It's set to auto mode by default which brings support for raw images, a handy exposure lock and a couple of basic life filters. But you can also use the pro mode by tapping on the auto option next to the shutter button and selecting professional from the drop down menu. Once you switch over, you'll get access to even more controls including speed, ISO and white balance. Along with all this, it's an image editing app and there are amazing tools that you can use in the app to transform the images you capture on your camera. To use these features, you just need to click on a photo, head back to the app's home screen and then tap on the photo to open it in the editing suit. Here you'll get access to a variety of tools to edit the photos just like you want. The sheer number of tools might seem a bit intimidating at first, but thankfully the app has a guided tool to help you figure things out. Moving on, let's talk about the file management and for that I'm not a big fan of the stock file manager. Which is why I think that you should check out the Solid Explorer instead. One of the main reasons I use Solid Explorer on most of the devices that I review is that it allows you to open two browser panels at the same time. This makes transferring files as simple as dragging them from one folder and dropping them into the another. No copy and pasting required, it's done automatically. The side panel on the app is also pretty neat and you can use it to quickly jump between folders, compress or archive files and even transfer them via FTP. So if you've got a lot of offline media or files on your phone, then having Solid Explorer on the phone will make sure that you save a lot of time organizing it. Now moving on, another app that's going to be useful for the 64 megapixel camera is Kind Master. It's a handy app that you can use to edit your videos. The app brings in an almost professional grade video editor in the palm of your hands. There are a lot of features in this one like layer based editing, special effects, and 
along with that you'll find a lot of other editing tools that you must explore if you are into video editing on the phone. To be frank, it's the only video editing app you'll ever need on your Android device. But it might be a bit too advanced for beginners. And if you feel that it's overwhelming, you can also try apps like Quick or InShot instead. And finally, we have a wallpaper app to wrap things up. Wallp is a free app on Play Store that sources cool wallpapers from Unsplash. But the best thing about the app is that using the app, you can automatically change your phone's wallpaper. Now the thing is, this app does not rely on fixed time-based alarms to prevent your device from going into sleep. It lets Android figure out when is the best time to change the wallpapers. You can also configure constraints to only change wallpaper while your device is on Wi-Fi, charging or completely idle. Pretty cool, right? So well, that wraps it up for this video. As always, you'll find all the links to the apps in the description down below. Now, don't forget to like the video if you have discovered some cool apps for your Redmi Note 8 Pro. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So fellas, this is Ashish Mundra signing off and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.